10 fun and interesting facts about Jupiter. So first off, Jupiter is massive. And I mean, it's not just big, it's gigantic. Jupiter is 318 times the mass of Earth. That's like trying to compare a marble to a beach ball. And get this, you could fit all the other planets in the solar system inside Jupiter and still have room for a couple of moons to spare. The sheer size of it means it's got a powerful gravitational pull, which we'll get into later. But yeah, if planets were boxers, Jupiter's holding the championship belt. And also, just a fun fact, Jupiter is so massive that it doesn't technically orbit the Sun. It actually orbits a berry center just outside of the Sun's surface. So next up, let's talk about the wind, because Jupiter is basically the solar system's wind tunnel. While we're all worried about a tornado touching down at 200 miles per hour here on Earth, over on Jupiter, they'd laugh at that. Winds there can blow at over 400 miles per hour, sometimes even faster. Imagine a constant hurricane with gusts as strong as the fastest cars on Earth, just swirling around nonstop. You'd never have a good day on a good hair day on Jupiter, ever. And just another fun fact: in Jupiter's upper atmosphere is layered with bands of clouds, creating what we call zonal jets, where the winds alternate direction between different latitudes. So basically, you've got these stripes of super steady wind that are like Jupiter's version of high-speed freeway lanes if those lanes were made of gas. Number three, the Great Red Spot. Of course, everybody knows about the most famous feature of Jupiter, the Great Red Spot. This is like Jupiter's permanent bad hair day, but instead of it being a minor inconvenience, it's a storm three times the size of Earth, and it's been raging for over 300 years. Like, what kind of power are we talking about here? The winds in a storm reach speeds of 430 to 500 miles per hour, and while it's been shrinking a bit over the past century, it's still big enough to swallow Earth whole. And scientists actually think it's sinking deeper into the planet. So the next time you're mad at a storm for ruining your weekend, remember that Jupiter has been dealing with a 300-year-old monster storm. Perspective, am I right? Number four, the solar system's bouncer. Now, here's something a bit mind-blowing. Jupiter is like the bouncer of the solar system. Thanks to its colossal gravitational pull, it acts like a cosmic shield for Earth and the other inner planets. It captures, absorbs, or deflects comets, asteroids, and meteors that could otherwise come crashing into us. In fact, many astronomers think Jupiter's presence might be a big reason Earth has been able to avoid a few extinction-level events. But here's the twist. Sometimes instead of just absorbing those space rocks, Jupiter launches them. Its gravity can slingshot comets and meteors into the inner solar system instead of out. So, yeah, it's like Jupiter's playing a weird cosmic game of dodgeball with asteroids, and we're just kind of stuck in the middle. Number five, why are gas giants all on the edge of our solar system? Have you ever wondered why our gas giants like Jupiter are way out there, chilling on the outskirts of the solar system, instead of hanging out close to the sun? Well, it all goes back to the early days of the solar system. When the sun ignited, its intense heat pushed lighter gases, hydrogen and helium, out to the cooler edges. So the gas giants formed far from the sun, where it wasn't too hot for all of those gases to hang together. So basically, Jupiter and the other gas giants were all like, you know what, let's take the scenic route and live in the cosmic suburbs. And thank goodness they did, because if they were closer to the sun, things would get really chaotic really quick. Number six, Jupiter's magnetosphere. So next up, Jupiter's magnetosphere. This thing is absolutely colossal. It's the biggest structure in the solar system. Jupiter's magnetic field is 20,000 times stronger than Earth's. If we could see it, the magnetosphere would stretch out millions of kilometers into space, making it larger than the sun in diameter. It's so powerful that it traps particles and creates intense radiation belts, which would make it a super dangerous place to visit. And it also produces some of the brightest auroras in the solar system, even brighter than Earth's northern lights. So if you were on Jupiter's poles, you'd be treated to some mind-blowing light shows. Just don't forget your lead suit because the radiation would cook you. Number seven, what if Jupiter wasn't on the outside of the solar system? So what if we decided to play musical chairs and swap Jupiter with Mercury? Well, for starters, the inner solar system would be toast. Jupiter's gravitational pull is so strong that it would wreak havoc on the orbits of every planet in a neighborhood. 
Earth and Venus would probably get pulled into crazy orbits, collide with each other, or get ejected from the solar system entirely. It would be like shaking a snow globe and just watching everything go flying. So, in short, if Jupiter where was where Mercury was, the solar system would be a total mess. So let's just be thankful that the gas and ice giants ended out where they did. Number eight, lightning on Jupiter. Now, here's something quite literally shocking. Jupiter's got some of the most powerful lightning storms in the solar system. We are talking about lightning strikes up to 100 times more powerful than anything we've got here on Earth. If you think Earth storms are intense, imagine getting caught in one of Jupiter's lightning storms. The bolts are so bright and powerful that they can light up the entire planet from space. A fun twist, NASA's Juno mission actually captured recordings of these storms, and it turns out they don't just sound like thunder. They also produce something called whistlers and spherics, which are radio waves caused by the lightning. So Jupiter is literally screaming through space during a storm. Number nine, Jupiter has 79 moons. If you thought Earth's one little moon was cool, let me introduce you to Jupiter's 79 moons. That's right, there are 79. Some of these moons are the size of planets themselves, like Ganymede, which is actually bigger than Mercury. Ganymede even has its own magnetic field, making it the only moon in our solar system with that feature. And then there's Europa, which might have a massive ocean beneath its icy surface. NASA's planning missions to see if life could be lurking down there. So Jupiter's moons are basically like mini worlds. It's almost like its own mini system. And the last one, number 10, Jupiter is a failed star. It was close to becoming a star. If it was about 80 times more massive, Jupiter would have ignited into a star, giving our solar system two suns. Imagine what that would be like. Binary star systems are fairly common in the universe, but here, Jupiter didn't quite make the cut. Instead, it settled for being the biggest planet around, with a little bit of star envy. So, the next time you're outside staring at the stars, just remember, Jupiter was almost up there, shining with the best of them. And there you have it, 10 fun and fascinating facts about Jupiter. From the crazy storms to the game of cosmic dodgeball, there's always something wild happening with this gas giant. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the king of the planets, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating outer space fun. And until then, stay curious and make sure you learn something new each and every day. Thank you and have a wonderful day.